What's going on everybody? We're going to be talking a little bit about a man called Otto. This film stars Tom Hanks as Otto, who is a grumpy old man who has given up on life after the loss of his wife and just wants to end it all. However, when a young family moves in, it leads to an unexpected friendship that will turn his world around. Now this movie absolutely destroyed me. The subject matter for this film is a heavy, heavy subject matter, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for some people to watch. But going into this film, I wasn't all that excited. I liked the trailers. I thought it looked cute and charming. And I knew going in what the film was about to a degree. To a very small degree, mostly because I saw the MPAA rating. And I knew this was going to be a very hard film for me to watch. Uh, This movie deals with suicide attempts. And there are just a lot of moments in this film where it just gets very difficult for me to watch, especially as somebody that has gone through this at one point in my life. Uh, But this movie was absolutely amazing. I absolutely loved this film. This movie isn't perfect, but there were just a lot of moments in this film where it was just very heartwarming, very friendly, and it felt like it was just a very warm hug. Tom Hanks plays a very old and grumpy curmudgeon. He just doesn't like enjoying life anymore. He wants to be with his wife again. And then once this family moves in, that's when his life gets turned around, mostly because this is a young new family. They are expecting a new baby, and just the way that they interacted I thought it was absolutely fantastic this movie will make you laugh cry and just feel there are a lot of moments in this movie that actually surprised me the standout of the film is Mariana Trevino who plays Marisol I thought she was absolutely fantastic and the little relationship that she built with Tom Hanks is actually very friendly she is very uplifting she is very friendly even when Otto is being a really stubborn jackass and just doesn't give a crap about anybody he's more of the guy that follows the rules he wants everybody to follow the rules and be in place and once this family moves in and he starts building a bond with them that is where the movie gets a little bit better for me because I really enjoyed that little interaction that we had between Marisol and Otto he's helping her get her driver's license he's teaching her how to drive and from time to time he'll babysit her kids as well and it, there were just a lot of small little moments like that that absolutely made me happy this movie is a remake of a man called Ove I've never seen the remake I actually never heard of it until I walked into this film I've totally forgot that it was a remake but What Mark Forrester was able to do with this film was be able to convey a lot of these heavy moments but also sprinkle some lighter moments in this film and I thought that was absolutely fantastic. I think this is a wonderful film that is going to surprise a lot of people even if you don't have it on your radar. For me personally, I absolutely enjoy this film mostly because going into this film, I knew that this was going to be a very, very, very heavy film mostly because of the subject matter that I was going to be tackling and I think for the most part it does a very good job of handling that subject matter to a very nice degree and I really like the way that it was held in this film. You also get some flashbacks to when he was younger meeting his wife and how that relationship was bonded and that is that is to me where all the emotions bled out. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Sometimes it does get a little bit repetitive but I didn't mind it mostly because I was attached to this character and I wanted this character to make it out to the end and I absolutely thought Tom Hanks was great in this film. It is the best performance that he's had in the past 12 months. I thought he was okay in Elvis but I really did not enjoy him in Pinocchio which is really tough for me to say because I absolutely love Tom Hanks but in this movie he gives a Oscar worthy performance in this film. I'm not sure if it qualifies to become a Oscar award nominee but this movie was absolutely fantastic. It does get a little bit long to a degree. I think the last 10 to 15 minutes do get to stretch it out just a little bit you could have cut some of that out but this movie was absolutely fantastic i absolutely adore this film this was a movie that i had very little anticipation for it wasn't really one that i was really having a lot of excitement for 
But any time that Tom Hanks is appearing in a movie, I will show up, even if it's Pinocchio. And this movie was absolutely fantastic. I absolutely adored this film. And overall, I would say that if you're one of those people that are very on the edge of checking this film out, I would highly recommend that you guys check this out, except just full warning that uh, it's going to be very difficult for some people to watch. Uh, for the most part, I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. The performances were great and there were a couple of moments in this film where it does get a little bit too long, but I did not mind it. This movie clocks in at about two hours and six minutes and I did not feel the length, mostly because I was wrapped up in this film from an emotional standpoint and from an entertainment standpoint. This movie is going to be hard for some people to watch, especially if you are dealing with with these subject matters but I would definitely check it out it's not one that you would really want to rush out to see in theaters but I would highly recommend that you guys check it out in theaters because this is a movie that definitely needs the support that it can get because I think a lot of people will absolutely come out loving it it's not going to be for everybody but I absolutely found this movie fantastic and I just I, it's going to be a one and done for me just because it's going to be hard for me to watch it again. But this movie was absolutely fantastic and it was definitely a very nice surprise. But have you guys checked out A Man Called Otto? Do you have any interest in this film? Go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comments below. And what is your favorite Tom Hanks performance? Go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on more. Click that bell notification so you get notified every single time that a video pops up. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side.